So with the printer really taking shape now, we'll go ahead and tidy up, applying the finishing touches as well as the display assembly in this chapter, after which we'll be complete with the entire Prusa Core 1 kit build. Ok so we're going to start with the plexi set package in this section, specifically the top cover, as well as the accompanying vent cover. Start by removing the protective layer from both sides of the sheet, as well as the vent. Some find this a satisfying step, some find it annoying, either way we need it off. So that we can lay the top cover into place on the very top of the printer, with the vents facing forwards. Note the layer is not symmetrical, so if the corner bolt openings do not line up, flip the cover over so that they do. We'll get the vent installed next, so carefully place flanged washers through three M3x10 screws, taking care to ensure the hat is up against the screw head, before dropping all three into the available holes in the vent, and dropping down on the top sheet. This can now be secured using M3 lock nuts held from the bottom while you tighten the screw, repeat across all the screws. After which we want to back off each screw just slightly, just enough so that the vent sits slightly loose and can slide from side to side with relative ease. Note that the vent can be installed under the top cover, as shown here, although I personally find it easier to operate with the vent on top, the choice is yours. Either way, secure the panel to the top using four nylon rivets, two at the front and two at the back. Although we have more holes on the sides, four rivets will be sufficient for now. It's a similar process with the side covers, so go ahead and remove the plastic film from both sides. Place the first on the right side, taking care to line up the protruding screw with the larger opening in the cover, and secure with three rivets across the top and one on either end. Repeat the same process on the opposite side, with another five nylon rivets. Ok so both sides and top done now, that just leaves the front. Before we work on the door assembly, we'll go ahead and get the main printer display installed, located within the electronics package. We'll also need the front and back covers, as well as the thumb knob from the printed parts package, after which we're ready to proceed. So start with the rear cover, looking inside with the cutout to the right side and insert the LCD display assembly into it. Note the top right corner, which hooks over the board, so slide the board across ensuring it sits flush with the bottom at the same time. Remove the protective film and then cover with the top plate, before flipping the assembly over and securing one side with two 3x8 screws and a single 3x8 screw in the opposite corner. Note how we leave the bottom left corner free for the moment, that's because we need to install a fasten connector here. This can be a little fiddly, but holding one end with needle nose pliers, slide it under the rear panel and secure with a final 3x8 screw. All that's left then is to install the thumb knob. Turn the encoder shaft so the flat side is facing up and then orientate the knob so that it sits neatly over the shaft, pushing it down into place and giving it a turn to make sure it's properly seated. We now need to install this to the bezel panel, found in the metal parts package. So insert two M3 square nuts into the bottom of the rear side of the LCD assembly, making sure to slide them all the way inside so the holes line up with the printed part and then loosely attach two M3x6 screws to both nuts, bearing in mind we're leaving them loose for the moment, enough so that they can hook onto the bezel assembly and slide down into the keyholes, where they can now be tightened down until snug. Note the bent lip of the bezel should be on top, and the cutout allows clear access to the rear display and fasten connector. Ok so we're ready to mount to the printer now, so bring the assembly close, and proceed to connect the display ribbon cable, with ribbon coming from the left as shown, this can be a little fiddly, after which the fasten connector can also slide into place. Now making sure cables do not get pinched in the process, raise the assembly and hook the left side behind the vertical profile of the printer, followed by hooking on the right side. 
Display Assembly Complete. So it's on to the door next. Start by locating the door sealing strips. One short and two longer pieces. Starting with the shorter piece, remove just the end of the adhesive protective strip and place it parallel to the top of the front opening, slightly offset, so it's just under the screw head. And slowly peel the protective backing and stick the strip to the assembly as you go along. Using the same technique, stick the longer strip down the right side, trimming off any excess from the bottom, and then finally the opposite side. We'll get the door magnetic holders in place next, found in the printed parts package. Start by inserting a single M3 square nut into the end and pushing far enough so the holes line up before repeating on the second holder and then insert magnets into both. Orientation of magnets does not matter, so go ahead and push into place. Before placing into position on the frame from the inner right side, orientating the unit so the protruding rectangle fits into the cutout and secure with a single M3 by 5 screw. Repeat on the second holder. Hinges next, found in the core X wire and hinges package. From the inside of the printer, insert the door hinge rear piece into the top rectangular opening in the left side profile, where we can secure with a single M3 by 5 screw. And repeat on the lower hinge. Align the outer door hinge in this orientation, so the longer protruding side on the outside, and insert a hinge pin in from the top down, chamfered edge first, until it's fully inserted. Again, repeat on the second hinge. Bear in mind the pin should not be visible at all once correctly in place. After which we can open both hinges. So onto the actual door next. Start by removing the plastic protective sheet. Before making sure the door is orientated so that the signs are facing outwards, place the door in its hinges, where the cutouts in the door should fit into the grooves in the top and bottom hinge. And, starting with the top, secure into place with two M3 by 5 screws, before securing the bottom with another two screws. All that's left then is the orange handle. Remove the adhesive backing strip, but do not stick it to the door just yet. Instead, align the handle so that the front chamfered part is flat to the door. Note the top of the handle must be flush with the door. While pushing the handle against the door to keep it aligned, slowly rotate it until the adhesive strips bond to the door. And then push the door and handle together firmly in the adhesive strip areas to ensure a secure attachment. And with that, the Prusa Core 1 assembly is now complete. The printer is fully built. Although before first use we need to set belt tension and complete all of our calibration checks. So join me in the next chapter where we'll finish off by completing all final checks before printing.